I am here to talk about best practices in use of technology to integrate course skills into the course content. In this module, we will learn about knowledge, about variety of digital tools, their incorporation in the teaching learning process, demonstration of the usage of various digital tools which help in the incorporation of four C's. Learning outcomes of this module will be knowledge about a variety of digital tools which help in developing four C's that is communication skills, critical thinking, creative thinking and collaborative skills. Incorporation of various digital tools in the teaching learning process. Demonstration of the usage of various digital tools in the classroom. The online learning market, commonly referred to as e-learning, is projected to reach $325 billion by 2025. Forbes attributes this global growth in education to the trends in hiring, in workplace skills and evolving the training methods. According to WHO, the four C's of 21st century skills are effective communication skills, collaborative skills, critical thinking skills, creative thinking skills. The digital tools to develop communication skills are categorized under two headings, synchronous and asynchronous technologies. Synchronous technologies require all the participants to join the communication at the same time, but not necessarily the same place. For example, video conferencing. We can participate at the same time while sitting at our own places. Webinars. Again, we can present and interact at our own places and at the same time. Asynchronous technologies are the technologies where the participants have choice to select both time and place to access the information or communicate it. All recorded media such as DVDs, YouTube videos, online discussion forums, emails, podcasts, recorded lectures they are all asynchronous. These both type of technologies help to develop the communication skills across the age groups and across the places. Other digital tools which help to develop communication skills are Facebook, emails, YouTubes, WhatsApp, blogs, online discussion forums. Digital tools to develop collaboration skills. There are number of digital tools which help in collaborating. The academic collaboration involves significant online communication, sharing of links and working collaboratively. Padlet is an application to create an online bulletin board that can use to display information for any type. Easily create an account and build a new board. You can add images, links, videos and much more on the Padlet. Users can add links, YouTube videos, files and images to Padlet notes. They can move and arrange them. So Padlet is giving an opportunity to collaboratively create links, to collaboratively produce videos, to collaboratively handle pictures, predictions, writing prompts, and collaboratively preparing questions. We have got Google Suits for collaboration. Many people think of Google Drive as a cloud storage, but it also encompasses a suite of online office apps that are comparable with Microsoft Office. Google Docs, the word processor, Google Sheets, the spreadsheet app, and Google Slides, the presentation app, can import, export, or natively edit 
Microsoft Office files and you can use them to work together with your colleagues. Digital tools to develop collaboration skills. Daigo, D -I -I -G -O, Daigo is an excellent social bookmarking tool that enables you to save, annotate and share bookmarks that enables you to collect relevant information from the web including images, PDFs and videos and annotate important pieces to share with your colleagues. Teammates can highlight parts they feel are important as well as through collaborative team annotations. So you find bookmarks, tags, personal library, stocky notes, sticky notes, outlines and activated web pages at GIGO. Digital tools to develop critical thinking skills. The digital storytelling activities. It's a very important and very active tool. Telling digital stories allows students to use multimedia, images, audio, videos to present information and thus they also cater to the different learning styles of the learners. So digital storytelling uh, tool is helping different style learners to grasp their learning whether they are visual learners, whether they are audio learners, or whether they are kinesthetic learners. The digital stories can include personal narratives, stories that document events, and stories that inform and instruct. So the nature of content can vary. You can have your own story, you can write your own story and then convert it through your digital tool to digital story mode. Small group activities, they allow students to communicate, problem solve, hear different perspectives and collaborate to analyze and synthesize the course content. The small group activities are always helping the learner to gain confidence, to gain experience, to gain personal knowledge also. By assigning small group activities, instructors can engage students in multiple levels of critical thinking. The discussion forums, they allow students to communicate with their peers, answer questions that require them to demonstrate both lower level and higher level critical thinking skills and analyze the course content. Discussion forums also give freedom to the expression of the learners. Websites, like Blogger, WordPress, and Weebly have become the essential ways for the people of different walks of life to broadcast their personal stories, challenges, and insights. This has created both a new generation of budding writers. Friends, you can find that storytelling, digital storytelling, is a platform where you can look at your potentials where you can bring your creativity outside, where you can interact with your own self. The storytelling digital tool is helping you to improve your imagination, to uh, bring uh, the life to your imagination. You are bringing your images on the concrete platforms. Digital tools to develop creative thinking skills. Online activities that offers divergent thinking such as creative writing, creation of graphics, creative use of color, animation and effects to convey particular messages. Creation of cartoon animations or comic helps the learner to enjoy their own imagination on concrete platforms. Powtoon, cartoons for the classrooms is an example of such website. Powtoon aims to enable you to create cartoon style, animated presentation and video clips without professional illustration and motion graphics software. See, you must use this Powtoon to create, to bring 
the tumor in your learning process. Digital tools to develop critical thinking skills. Mind mapping is very important today. Mind mapping helps to illustrate a topic or a concept that boosts the creativity of the students. For mind mapping, spider cry, voice mapping, chart tool could be used. Outturn, cartoons from the classroom, the presentation and video clips, they can be used in mind mapping. Mind mapping helps you to relate so many important aspects and have creative thinking like creative problem solving, processing the ideas, thinking tools, creative process, then thinking styles, creative brains, barriers and you can handle the myths as well. So all these can be part of your mind map. Friends, you find that so many tools, friendly user tools are available nowadays which we can use for our learning process, make it very interesting and lively. In that line only, we have got picto charts, ink space, worldly. They are free tools for creating infographics and cam studio, screener, drink, other video making tools which enable teachers or students to create their own videos. They can put their own expressions, they can have their own illustrations, they can put their imagination into words. All these tools are helping us to grow individually as well as socially. So online learning and education technologies, they offer an enhanced opportunity for the integration of core skills into teaching of knowledge and content, providing an environment that supports learning, practice and mastery of skills for lifelong learning and career success. My dear learners, I, I understand that you will take up all these tools in your classroom, you will make personal use of these tools, you will create your own short videos, interact, those, share those videos with your friends and would love to enrich those videos collaboratively. Thank you. Have a good day.